Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at shape generators. Um, this is a, a component within Tinkercad that allows you to use an existing shape and change different characteristics about it to get to get something new. So what I'm going to do is over here where it says basic shapes, I'm going to click on that. And about halfway through you're going to see featured shape generators. So if I click on that, I get a list of different objects here or shapes that can be uh, modified. So I'm just going to show you three of them that I personally find um, helpful uh, in stuff that we do here. So let's, for example, take a metric gear. Sometimes in certain projects here on campus, we have a need for gear systems. And this is a nice, simple way of creating a gear. So the first thing to notice is that just like a regular basic shape, you can change its size and you can move it around and change the height. And you can do all the thing, same things that you would with a regular shape. Um, but where a shape generator uh, really has its advantages is when you look at uh, the, um, the palette of choices here on the right. For example, on this on a particular gear, now each of these shape generators has different properties. But in this one on gears, I can, for example, change the number of teeth. Right now it's set to 18. I could either move my dial or I could actually type a number in here. So I might want to say 24 teeth. And it, it the, the shape reacts accordingly. Um, I could also change the, in this particular case, I can change the pitch of the teeth. And so I'll bring that in a little closer so you can see that. But right, I'll change it back to 20. Okay. And so this is a very quick way to get up and running on custom gears for yourself, just using a, a shape generator to start with. Okay. Another one that I want to bring in, I'll leave this one off to the side, is this circular array. And on the circular array, uh, there are other ways of getting to this same configuration, but this is a really nice, easy one. Let's say you have a need for creating multiple objects around an axis. Uh, this is a, a great uh, starter for you. So within this circular array, I can choose, first of all, what kind of shape I want to uh, bring in to be the one that gets replicated around the circle. I'll leave it square right now. And you could also choose how you want the direction of the shapes uh, to be oriented. So pointing inside, pointing outside, or pointing south, which I believe is just down this way. Let's try that, pointing south. Yeah, so everything facing downward. For now, I'll leave it on the inside. And the other thing you can do is find how many you need. So if I were to try to make something that was, um, let's say, a, a a pentagon shape, I could just either type in the number five here or use my dialer to go down to five. Okay. And I could also adjust the angle if I only wanted it at over 180 degrees, let's say. Okay. In this case, I'll leave it at 360. But this is a really quick way to get an arrangement of multiple like pieces together. And then finally, for the last shape generator that I wanted to show you, sometimes um, students have a need for something like this in class. But let's say that you're creating a set of stairs. Now, you know, you could just take a bunch of rectangles and make them into a staircase. Uh, you could even group them and then you could resize them and everything. But what this does, which is really, really great, is that its, it's floating palette here of options give you things like how many levels of the stairs do you want? Maybe I want 12 stairs. Okay. What is my height? Okay. What is the depth? So all of these things, what is the width of my stairs? All of these things are quickly customizable um, for you to use in a project. 